All right, so this video is going to review what we've discussed in the last couple videos. So we're trying to make decisions about how much we are willing and able to produce. And so we need to produce a number of cost curves. So we have costs on our vertical, we have quantity of output, or in this case, the number of widgets we're producing on the horizontal. So let's take a moment and let's label these different curves. So can you look at the, the parts of the graph and identify which curve is which based on its shape? And can you explain why it has the shape? All right, so which are these curves? All right, let's start with the one that goes down and continues to decline. Which cost curve decreases the more you produce? And that one is the average fixed cost. So average fixed cost, remember fixed cost does not change with the amount we produce. So the more we make, the more we can spread that out. If we have a $10 stapler, the more widgets we produce, the more we can take the $10 stapler and put a little bit of its cost into each widget. So here we have our average fixed cost. It is continually declining because fixed cost doesn't change and we're spreading it across more units. All right, what other graphs can we identify? Well, the one that looks like a check mark, this one here, Okay, we know that shape automatically tells us it is which curve? It is the marginal cost curve. It's the extra cost to produce one more widget, one more product. And it has this check mark shape because your extra cost to make one more unit declines when you do what? Right, when we have divisions of labor, we're dividing up the jobs into different specialized tasks, and that makes the marginal product go up. So get more from each additional worker, the extra cost of the worker gets put into more and more products, so the extra cost to make one more product is less. Then the marginal cost starts going up. And it starts going up because as we add more and more workers, we can't keep adding more and more specialized and different tasks. We start to get that diminishing returns. And those diminishing returns is a decreasing marginal productivity. Each additional worker adds less than the person before. So we get a check mark shape marginal cost. All right, we got two more curves here. What are we missing? we have average variable cost. An average variable cost has what kind of shape? It looks like a U. And notice where the bottom of the U is. The bottom of the U is always where it intersects marginal cost, and that's because if the marginal is below the average, so the extra cost is less than the typical cost, then it's gonna pull the average down and if the extra cost is above the average, it'll pull the average up. The last curve that we have on this graph is what? It is average total cost. And notice it also has a U shape. And that is because average total cost is average fixed cost plus average variable cost. And we see a big drop in average fixed cost pulling it down. And then average fixed cost gets very tiny. And so average variable cost takes over in the formula and average variable cost we see is going up. The other reason we get this U shape has to do with the marginal. Notice that the bottom of the average total cost curve is where it intersects the marginal cost curve. And that's because when the marginal is below the average, it pulls the average down. And when the marginal is above the average, it pulls it up. Now that we know these curves and where they come from and why they have this shape, we want to do is start adding some numbers to our graph. Because we want to calculate profit, we want to determine where we break even, at what price, we want to determine at which price we should shut down our business, we want to figure out how much we be willing and able to sell. And we can do that from these cost curves because these cost curves look at cost per unit 
and we can compare that to the price per unit we sell it for.